All right, welcome to Warrior Yoga with Jill. Let's start by coming to the top of our mat. And let's start by coming into that mountain pose and taking those long, deep, smooth breaths. With each breath, let's try and pull the crown of our head a little bit more towards the ceiling. You just want to lengthen that spine. And now let's soften our eyes. Now let's drop our shoulders. Let's open our chest. Let's relax our fingers. Let's pull our core in, draw that belly button a little bit closer to the spine. Let's soften and unlock our knees. And now let's bring our awareness into our feet and let's press the four corners of our feet into our mat. And now let's come back to the sensation of our breath. And now let's do our best to clear our mind of any stress, any worries, any burdens that we brought into onto our mat with us today. Let's just give ourselves permission just to set them aside. Just for now, just for the moment. Now let's take a deep breath in. We're going to bring the hands up. And I want you to slowly exhale down. We're going to flow for three breaths through a forward fold. So coming down, inhaling, lifting through the chest. And slowly exhaling. And then again, inhaling up. And on this third breath, on this third exhale down, we are going to pause in that forward fold. And we're just going to gently hang here. And now let's give the head permission to fall a little bit closer to the floor. And now inhaling up, leading. And now let's flow through chair. So we can have the hands at heart center. We can have them out to the side for cactus arms. We're flowing with our own breath here. Or we can do full extensions. Extend those arms out all the way. And now we're going to return to those three breaths through a forward fold. Exhaling down. Bending at the knees, lifting up. Slowly exhaling. And again, inhaling. And on this third breath down, let's come down and let's pause and forward fold. So it's just a great stretch for the lower back. Gentle stretch for the hamstrings. And then bending at the knees, inhaling, lifting. We are going to flow again through our chair, sinking back. Shoulder blades are tight together. And then on this third breath, we are going to pause in that chair pose. So let's exhale down. Now let's sink and let's pause in chair.
Now, inhaling up, big breath, knees remain unlocked. And again, let's exhale down. We're going to pause again and forward fold. And now let's inhale up, half fold or monkey. So we're trying to keep our back as flat as Exhale. Reverse swan dive. We're going to return to chair and we are going to pause again in that chair pose to strengthen the legs in the back. Again, hands can be at heart center or full extension. And again, inhaling up and nice swarm back to that forward fold. We're going to pause for two to three breaths here. Now let's inhale up half fold. And then exhaling down, inhaling, reverse swan dive, sinking back, returning back to chair. And one more cycle through, inhaling up, exhaling, pausing forward fold. Inhaling up to half fold. Exhaling, releasing. Inhaling and exhaling back into chair. Again, inhaling up. This time, let's pull the hands through heart center on the exhale. Let's soften and unlock those knees. And let's return to our mountain pose. And now with the right foot, let's step back and come into our warrior one. Taking that nice big step back, inhaling up to a warrior one. Now let's make any small adjustments that we can to improve our pose. And we're gonna pull those shoulder blades just a little bit tighter, open the chest. More solid through the feet. Let's be mindful of that front knee, making sure it's over top of that ankle. And we want to activate that inner thigh nice and strong and that back leg. And now let's slowly release and step forward back into mountain pose. And as we come to mountain pose, let's just quietly reset. Just take a moment, take a breath to tune back into the body, tune back into your mind. Again, making sure we're leaving all stresses and all burdens as best as we can off of our mats. 
So now let's step back with the left foot and let's inhale up into warrior one. And again, it's scanning the body, just finding those little things that we can do. Press in with the four corners of your feet. Lengthen. And now let's release back to mountain pose. And now slowly inhaling up, we're gonna to return to that forward fold. So exhaling back down, pausing for two to three breaths, taking in the benefit of that forward fold. And now inhaling up to that half fold, And let's release, inhaling up and slowly exhaling. And we're coming back into that chair. Now inhaling and pulling the hands through the through heart center on the exhale. Returning, resetting in that mountain pose. And now let's step back. We're going to come back into a warrior one. Just for a moment, just for a breath, we're gonna come into a warrior one. And then I want you to slowly turn and come into your warrior two. So we're gonna to toe heel that back foot, lengthen the legs, make them a little bit farther apart. I want you to be looking just beyond your fingertips, dropping your shoulders. That back foot is parallel to your back mat. And now let's windmill these hands forward and carefully turn and bring those feet together. Pause for a moment in forward fold. Inhaling up. And let's pull those hands through heart center on the exhale. As we come to mountain pose, we're gonna roll those shoulders as we prepare for Warrior one and warrior two on the other side. Now let's step back with the left foot first, taking a breath coming in to warrior one. And now let's turn and find that warrior two. And now windmilling the hands forward, stepping the feet together, pausing in forward fold. Taking a deep breath in, we'll pull those hands again through heart center on the exhale. Returning back to mountain pose. And 
Now let's see if we can just slow our breath. Slow the inhale, slow the exhale. And now let's inhale up and again, exhaling down, coming into that forward fold. Always just giving ourselves permission to gently come into our poses. Now let's inhale up to half fold. Exhaling down. Big breath as we return to chair pose on the exhale as we come up through a reverse swan dive. And now let's see if we can ask ourselves just to sink back just a little bit more. And then inhaling up and hands through heart center as we return back to mountain pose. Now let's step back again with the right foot. And we are gonna breathe for a breath in warrior one. And now let's take a breath and turn to warrior two. And now from warrior two, let's flip the front palm, inhale forward and exhale as we gently come back into a reverse warrior. And again, let's windmill the hands towards the front. Let's step the feet together. Pause in that forward fold. Inhaling up hands through heart center on the exhale. Dropping the shoulders. Returning for a moment into that mountain pose. And now let's step back with the left foot. Again, a breath, a moment in warrior one. Now let's turn to warrior two. Flipping the front palm, inhaling as we gently come into that nice stretch into a warrior two. So as you come back in that warrior two, just be mindful of that front knee that we keep it in the same spot as it was in a warrior two. And now let's windmill the hands down in front, carefully turning that back foot as we bring the feet together, let's pause. For Inhaling up, hands through heart center as we return to mountain pose. Doing our best to completely empty those lungs. And again, let's inhale up. We're gonna to return to forward fold, exhaling down, forward fold for two to three breaths. And now let's inhale up to half fold or monkey pose.
exhaling down, inhaling, and returning, sinking back into that chair pose. See if on our next breath, we can sink a little bit deeper here. Lengthen the spine a little bit longer. Now inhaling up, hands through heart center on the exhale. Returning mountain pose. Now stepping back with the right foot, again, inhaling up to warrior one. Big breath as we turn to warrior two. From warrior two, let's go into reverse warrior. And then from reverse warrior, now let's go into triangle pose. So I'm straightening my front leg 95% of the way. And I'm doing a gentle twist, opening up, coming and pausing in triangle pose. And now let's release the hands down by the foot. Let's step the feet together. Inhaling up. Exhaling through heart center. Coming into that mountain pose. And now let's step back with the left foot. Again, inhaling up. Warrior one, big breath as we come into warrior two. Taking a breath as we come into reverse warrior. And another breath as we slowly turn into triangle pose. We're gonna pause and hold this for three to five breaths. And now let's slowly raise hands beside the feet. Let's step the feet together. And a big breath up, hands through heart center on the exhale. Returning to mountain pose. And again, a big breath. Swan dive forward fold. We're gonna inhale up in our next breath into that monkey pose. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale reverse swan dive and we're going to sink and this time now we're going to pause in chair holding our chair pose to build strength and again if we can we ask ourselves to sink a little bit deeper in that chair and again inhaling up and let's flow again through this, exhaling down, forward fold. Inhale up, monkey pose. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, reverse swan dive, and on the exhale, coming and pausing. And then finding our breath 
in chair pose. And again, inhaling, nice, slow exhale. One more time through pausing forward fold, inhaling half monkey, exhaling forward fold. Let's bend at the knees as we reverse swan dive up. And we're gonna exhale back and pause again in chair pose. And then inhaling, and we are going to forward fold down. We're going to come onto all fours on our mat. And from all fours, I want you to stack your hands underneath your shoulders. Those fingers are always wide on our mat, knees right underneath those hips. And I want you to gently flow through cat and cow. We've done a lot of work for the lower back in that chair pose. So we want to make sure we just gently stretch and love our back and loosen it up before we finish our practice so we're exhaling into cow or sorry inhaling into cow exhaling into cat we always allow the neck to gently flow naturally with the spine and then on your next breath let's pause and cat and just give the back a nice little stretch. Slowly inhale and lift into cow. And now on our next breath, let's exhale back into child's pose. Getting that nice stretch through the back. Let's just become heavy in this pose if we can. Now coming forward all fours, we're gonna return and finish our practice today in mountain pose. So if we can, we're gonna lift into a downward dog and however we can, we're gonna bring our hands and feet back together. And we're gonna pause one more time in forward fold. Again, just a nice stretch out for the back and the hamstrings. And now let's take that deep breath in, pull the hands one more time through heart center. We're going to come back to our mountain pose. And again, in that mountain pose, let's come back into our breath. And before we return to what awaits us off our mats, again, let's slowly scan our body. Let's soften our eyes. Let's drop our shoulders, lengthen the crown of our head towards the ceiling. Let's gently open up our chest. Let's allow our fingers to become heavy and to relax. Let's pull that core in a little bit tighter. Let's soften our knees. Let's bring the awareness into our feet. Let's really ground ourselves. And in this moment, let's feel that power that that gentle scan of the body gives us, how it connects us with ourselves. And as we leave our mats and return to life, let's quietly remind ourselves we can take our mats wherever we go. And we can quietly have these moments of putting our stress, our burdens, our worries, 
to set it aside just for a moment. Just quietly stop and pause and scan your body from head to toe. Allow yourself permission to reconnect with itself. To remind yourself the power that you have within. And to remind ourselves that quiet time just isn't on our mat. It can be anywhere that we are. Now let's place one hand on your heart and one hand on your stomach. And may your journey off your mat bring you peace and harmony to your body and soul. May your journey off your mat bring you peace and harmony to your body and soul.